we are going to read the story of disney winnie the pooh the pooh stakes game so shall we start disney's winnie the pooh the book starts with a beautiful picture and the book is written by thea feldman and katherine hapka before moving on to the story if there is anyone watching without subscribing bell reads please subscribe my channel bell reads and click on the bell icon for getting the new updates and new stories so let's start it had been a particularly windy night in the 100 acre wood so windy in fact that when ayor opened his eyes the next morning he found himself looking up at the sky the wind had toppled his house of sticks on top of him look at the picture ayor had just moved all the sticks into a nice tidy pile when pooh and piglet happened by on their morning walk by ayor pooh up pooh said i see you have changed your house where may i ask is the front door or the back door for the matter we would be happy to help rebuild your house said piglet indeed we would said pooh he picked up a stick thing 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 those sticks don't want to stick together anymore ayor said it's time to get new ones pooh scratched his head suddenly the bear of very little brain had a big idea ayor he said if you have no use for these sticks i believe i know something they would be good for a game of pooh sticks pooh sticks said piglet clapping his hands it had been a long time since the friends had played this game in pooh sticks several players each drop a stick over one side of the bridge and into the water the one whose two stick emerges first from under the other side of the bridge is declared the winner so that's the game it took some doing but ayor managed to make it to the bridge with the sticks eager to begin the game everyone grabbed a stick and ran to one side of the bridge they all threw their sticks in at once then they hurried to the other side to look for it the first stick floated out after a minute the problem was that everyone was rather certain the first stick was the one they had chosen until more sticks began to emerge all the sticks looked so much alike no one could tell who had won it could just be me said ayor but this game is in as much fun as i remember i think said christopher robin that there are too many of us playing at the same time maybe we should take turns like we used to take turns instead of sticks said ayor i don't remember doing that no no christopher robin hurried to explain take turns with the sticks he looked at the sticks they all looked the same we need to mark these sticks so we know whose is whose i have just the thing for that cried piglet who hurried off and returned with his paints everyone should paint their sticks so they can recognize it i will paint mine yellow splendid idea piglet said owl who painted his stick green like the leaf of his tree home tiger painted black and orange stripes down his stick rabbit made his entire stick orange to resemble a carrot each friend painted their stick a different color everyone gathered into groups of 3 pooh stepped up to the railing with roo and piglet ready set throw called rabbit three sticks went into the water and floated under the bridge pluck 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 after a few minutes pooh's red stick came out hooray kanga won the next round and then christopher robin 
Tiger and Ayor were the last three to play. On the count of three, said Owl. One, one and a half, two, two and three, eight, three. Christopher Robin let his stick roll off his palm. Tiger robbed his mid-bounce. Ayor did a twitchy moo and opened his mouth to release his stick. Ayor's twitchy moo worked. He won his round. Didn't expect that, he said with the tiniest hint of a smile. Ha ha! Everyone was so excited they couldn't wait for the final round to begin. Pooh, Kanga and Ayor wished each other good luck. Piglet waved a leaf as a signal to start. Plunk, plink, plunk. Three poo sticks went into the water and disappeared under the bridge. A long grey stick floated forward in first place. Ayor could hardly believe his eyes. Hooray for Ayor! Everyone shouted at once. You won. Must be a mistake, said the disbelieving donkey. No, Ayor. Christopher Robin laughed. We followed the rules and took turns. It's not mistake. You won fair and square. Taking turns, said Ayor. Who knew? Just then, he remembered that he still needed a house. He turned to go. Wait, said Pooh. We are still going to help you build your house. Ayor looked back. You are? He asked. We can take turns adding sticks to it, said Roo excitedly. Because that's what friends do, said Christopher Robin. That's all. That's all. That's the end of the story. We need the poo, the poo stick game. And everyone enjoyed the game. See you again with another new video. Bye-bye. Take care.